Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel everybody today uh, Since I last did a defensive video I want to do an offensive video for you guys And it is going to be a mini scheme Just a small little mini scheme you can use out of the Carolina Panthers offense I said I was going to do an ebook on it I'm very late on it I'm sorry I promised that like one or two months ago I feel bad about it but I want to start now And I want to start with Trayvon Flex Now Trayvon Flex is good because it is spread out which means that you will have to you will get coverage people are not going to be able to blitz you it's just it's just not going to work so and Trey Flex has a lot of coverage beaters so for that reason this is one of the best formations now it doesn't have every single play in Trey Flex it's not the best Trey Flex in the game but it still is good enough for me to uh, like recommend, recommend it to you guys before getting into it please if you enjoyed this video let me know by hitting the like button if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments and subscribe to the channel if you feel like my content is going to be something for you guys. Now, on defense, we'll worry about that later. We'll just go into um, trail flex. And the bad thing about this trail flex that I personally really dislike about it is that you cannot sub in four wide receivers. It just doesn't work. Whichever your, uh, p package you do, there used to be a way, or there sometimes is a way that you can get a fourth wide receiver in there. Not in this because. Um, the only one that changes your tight end or that changes your tight end um, player that's in there it's tight end sub it's just gonna sub in the backup tight end so yeah not great for that reason but still great in every other respect let's go to the audibles dagger inside zone verticals and a C corner those are the ones that I'd recommend you guys obviously it's all about personal preference if there are some you like more obviously put change those with the, uh, with the ones you don't like also of course do some labbing by yourself this video is a great starting point but if you really want to work on this scheme and make a little bit more out of it than it current than i'm putting out to you go in the lab just try out a couple of plays there's some great stuff in there i'm not going to be able to get to all of this because otherwise the video would be way too long i'll just show the main things but if you want to really dive deep into this scheme obviously you can do that just gotta invest the time yourself and i gotta say it's pretty fun so you guys should check it out it's always fun to find new stuff now let's talk about the personnel there are two abilities you need pretty much or i guess technically you can exchange those two for one but i'll talk about that later you want a halfback that can get backfield master backfield master will allow you to put special routes on a halfback we need those because they're really good and they one of them really tortures man coverage and man coverage is pretty tough right now so you need that route and also just because it makes the office more versatile also another outcome you want is um a slot apprentice slot apprentice it is really glitchy you should definitely try it out especially because you need it for my gun bunch offense that i'll break down in the future video this is just a start i'll break down the gun bunch out of this uh, also which is the best bunch in the game in my opinion but yes so those are the two you need halfback and you need rich mccaffrey has that uh, with backfield master and we need a slot apprentice which is michael thomas if you want you can get dan the man dan marino get the hot rod master on him it costs one more ability point but you can put any route on every wide receiver you can you want to so that's just something to keep in mind now you want michael thomas in this spot right here where i have him and i will first talk about how to beat man cover so we'll come out in dagger which is the main player of this formation and on defense will come out in dime one for six because that's the best pass defense if my opponent comes out in dime one for six against trail flex i'll just run inside zone because it's really tough to stop inside zone there's actually one way to stop inside zone and i'll show that to you guys you come out in cover two then i have auto flip on all right i'll just flip the play manually um what you do have to do is you have to come out and cover to sink or cover three uh, move to Gilmore in QB contain then have this guy user him if I now try to run inside zone it's gonna be pretty tough because I have to press X and then also user but on offense I'm gonna snap the ball and then you shoot in right there now War Fred Warren is a little bit slow but if you have someone like Simmons you can make that work I say Simmons if you have someone like that you can make it work otherwise it's gonna be pretty tough so I want to see if my opponent knows how to stop inside zone if they come in diamond for six but let's just pretend that my opponent knows how to do that 
I'll come out in dagger against man coverage and time. There you go. Cover three, cover three, one, cover one robber. Now I'll just run this stack, and you will see how good this crossing route is against man coverage. So he beats him clean off the snap. I got some pressure, but thank God Aaron Rodgers, he's the man. Also, I have Aaron Rodgers right here because he has, because he has the best release and best throw power max to 99. So if you guys are looking for a quarterback, you can use in Rex. Aaron Rodgers might be one of the best right now. Actually, that's a lie. It's still Patrick Mahomes over Lamar Jackson. But yeah, we'll work with it. I have Aaron Rodgers because he just throws dots. And this crossing out, it has to be guarded by his own. Now, how do people guard that? They put a curl fed out there. But now you will see if I press and shade over top. Um, this still won't work. This still will not cover it because the curl flat is too low. Oh. Yeah, it's one of the the benefits of using the 49ers and running it against them in the lab is because you see that one of the best defenses. I can still make this work. Also, I uh, sub or I traded over all the best cornerbacks, so you really see it's legit. It's literally the best defense you can go against now. Curl flats. They will have to go to 25. That's the only way you can stop it. Curl flats, put him to 25. Now you will see that this gets played. So obviously, if all they have to do to cover this cross is put their curl flats to 25 yards. That's not that good alone. Which means we're going to make some adjustments to it. So the first man beater that I'd recommend you guys get is put X the tight end on flat. Put an angle out on McCaffrey. And that's it. That's all you need. So I'll run the play. Oh, actually... You know what? I'm getting pissed off right now. I'll just sub out. Um, I'll just sub out the pass rushers. So I'll be I'll see you back on the field in a second. Okay, so coming out in the aggro again. I'll do that. Put a curl flat right there. And now you will see that this gets played. Um, yes. So do those two. Uh, angle out on the halfback. Now you'll see if I throw that. All right, he's right there. Should have been a pick. Um, I'm putting a t the tight end on the flat and an angle out on Christian McCaffrey. And now you will see that this works. Because the angle route is very good at beating man coverage. The thing is, after that, if, for example, let's say the user covers the angle route, that there's, not, not, there's not a whole lot there for you. What I'd recommend you guys to try is for this very specific setup, you can put Michael Thomas where DK Metcalf is, put a streak on Tyler Lockett, put Michael Thomas with the Slot Apprentice chemistry, or let's just say whichever guy has sl the Slot Apprentice ability for you, put him in DK Metcalf's spot and put this man on a corner out if you want to. In this case, obviously can't, but a corner out will do also do a fine job of beating man coverage. That is actually really annoying, or actually really unrealistic because if you remember back in week two, DK Metcalf absolutely torched Stefan Gilmore. So I don't know why he's covering him right here. I don't know, might be some Patriots fans uh, at the studios. But still, the corner route sh should get open. It's not going to open, get open 100% of the time, but the crossing route and the angle route will get open 100% of the time. And the corner route, you will see, you'll kind of see if the user cheats and goes to the angle route, you will see that very early, so you will be able to throw the corner route in time. Just something to keep in mind for this very specific play. You might want to put uh, the slot apprentice wide receiver uh, where we have DK Metcalf at in this formation. Now that's enough for the man beater out of um, Dagger, but there's a whole lot more I want to get into with Dagger. Some great zone beaters, so we'll talk about that now. For the rest of this mini scheme, I'll run it against Big Nickel because that's what you've been facing most of the time. Just know this also works against a lot of the other sets, but against some lighter sets such as maybe Big Dime. I prefer to run inside zone. So I'll run it against Big Nickel because that's what I'll be facing most of the time. I'll come out in cover three right here. And the most important thing is that you have backfield master for this because there are going to be a lot of routes you pull your halfback on that are not available stock. So I'll put McCaffrey on the flat. That's the first setup. Now, the first read on this is always the flat. If the flat gets covered, we'll throw the drag. Those are our two main reads now. Our user, he really has to stay back because a lot of the times, once you've hit the flat route, once you've hit the flat route a couple of times, and once you hit the drag a couple of times, the op the intuitive solution is to put Ward on the flat on a hard flat because that will cover the flat route, 
and user the drag with trick whiskey tart with this guy right here he's often going to be the guy that's going to be using that he's he'll be using the problem with that is that we have the in route so if trick whiskey tart decide, decides to i'll just mimic that by putting him in man coverage if, if the user decides to cover the drag we'll have the in route behind it so i'll run the play the flat route is not there the drag is not there but then we have the in route so that's what's troubling the user is kind of split he has to cover deep but if he does that he will give up the flat now another thing that might be useful is to put this guy right here in a hard flat use this guy uh, and use the in route that's something that is possible but there is another threat then so we'll, if we look at the defense the crossing route will be covered, the flat route will be covered, the drag route will be covered, the um, in route will be covered by the user, but there still is one route that is not going to be covered, and that is this streak. Okay, so really your opponent gets to pick his poison kind of. Even if he knows the exact route combination that's going to be coming, it's tough to stop. I mean, Look at all the things I had to adjust, and I knew what was coming, and still I had the streak open, so I would have adjusted, would have had to have adjusted for that too. You see, so that is kind of where the beauty in this play is. is it attacks a lot of different parts of the field, and it's really difficult to stop if you know what is coming, and it's pretty much impossible to stop if you don't know that that specific route combination is coming. See, it's, 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 it's. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, it's impossible to stop. It really is, especially if you mix in the other place well. So this is like our main setup that we want to go to. But if we see that our opponent is kind of adjusting and he's putting this guy in a hard flat right here, um, then we can we can get a little bit tricky. We can we still put McCaffrey on the flat route because we want to check maybe if he maybe didn't put it out there. Then we'll hitch kill and we'll hitch Metcalf. And if I were you, I'd, I can't. I forgot. I forgot. He can motion snap in this formation like that. Um, so put Mac Metcalf back. Um, that's the set. That's the whole setup. We will just for the first time we'll check is the no the flat is not open and then our user has to choose which of the hitches he's gonna take because either the Titan or the or, or Metcalf is gonna be open. He, he, he only can cover one all right so i'll just oh no um i'll just set the play up again he has to pick his poison you'll see the hitch gets open on the left also the one on the right was open if our user now decides to be really aggressive and drop down we will still have the in route so for example we'll pretend he covers uh that hitch Okay, I can still throw the one on the right, but way, uh, way prettier is throwing uh, the in route. So, number one setup is this one right here. Just read it out. The second setup is double hitches. Just read it out, whichever one the user doesn't cover. And the only, uh, the only time you pretty much want to call this, if you notice uh, that your opponent is putting. A middle linebacker that's supposed to cover the middle in a hard flat to account for that flat route. The first time you see this, and the flat route, get, flat route gets covered by that linebacker right there, you go to this setup and just torture, torture your opponent. Very, very good stuff. Really, just be patient. Something is gonna open up. Take your time. This dagger play—it's the main play of this formation. It's really good. Let's go on to the, to the other place though. We we'll should maybe do a better job of beating some other coverages. Let's now talk about how we can attack cover 2. I'll come out and cover 2 on defense right here out of Big Nickel once again. Cover 2 just like that. And on offense, I will come out in the play called SC Corner. SC Corner, it's really good for a couple of reasons. I'll show them to you now. Let's get into it. The obvious reason this play is good because it has that corner out on Thomas. It's not like a slot apprentice corner out. It's a, that's the slot prince corner. It is a little bit of a deeper corner. Route. So you see that the angle is kind of a little bit. Um, it is a little bit of a bigger angle. It carries more down the field. That's what we want when we attack cover two. So our setup against cover two is streak tile lock it. 
put DK Metcalf on Zig. Um, and then with, with Kittle, you can do pretty much whatever you want. I like to put him on an in route. You can also put him on a curl. You can put him on a streak. I personally put him on an in route just to have another route going to that side of the field. All right. So now I will show you how this throw looks normally. So right there, he drops back. Very easy. And you see that this throw, it is kind of tight. It is kind of tight. How do we combat this? There is a very simple way. So um, once again, we'll do the setup streak, lock it. Metcalf on a zig, in route on kill, and then before snapping the ball, we click back on to Aaron Rodgers. While we snap, or before we snap the ball, we hold the left stick to the left. It's probably, yes, actually, it is the right way. Um, left stick to the left, snap the ball, and as soon as he makes that little step, let go of it. Now you cut off um, the, you cut off the drop back. He's now a little bit further up in the pocket, and now we can make that throw work so one more time just like that boom cut off the drop back and now you see that this is a little bit more open of a window if possible for example you can do um you can do this and just hold it all the way and roll out just like that then it's even an easier throw the issue with that however is that if i Either you can roll into a you can roll out into a contain and that's a sack. You don't want that. Or if it takes like an outside angle, it it is easier for them to shed you if they slant to the outside, which a lot of people do out of um, big nickel. So that's just something to keep in mind. It is a really good play though. And just in case, I'll run this one more time. Also, you have the check down obviously. And what you can do. <clears throat> Is if you see that the zone is gonna drop back, uh, what you can do is you can throw that zig route right there, get a couple of yards. That's also a possibility, of course. What I would do is put kill on an in route. That is one version. Still send out the halfback on this route. It's not gonna be open guaranteed, but sometimes it will be, so it's a nice check down to have. Or you can streak kill. McCaffrey on an angle route and then see which one the user chooses in this case the angle route is open for some nice yards maybe or not maybe if your opponent shades underneath because he wants to cover the zig and then maybe put Gilmore in the curl flat um, you will see that on the left side everything is going to be covered but now we can maybe hit our streak or something like that is possible just something to keep in mind either you go for this setup, where you put uh, Met, uh, Metcalf on the zig, Kittle on the in route, or you go for this setup, or um, which streak uh, streak tight end and put uh, McCaffrey on that little angle route. One of those two is possible. Of course, don't forget that you don't should never run into uh, a rusher like that. But also, don't forget that you have that corner route and it's looking pretty sweet. Yes. Now that's that's just one set against cover two. Let's just keep going with the cover two beaters. Let's go into verticals. Verticals, very good stuff. You streak a uh, square, streak circle. You put Kittle either on a streak or on a drag. Let's put him on a drag. And let's motion over DK Metcalf. Okay. Now obviously the streak is very good against cover two down the middle, but also this route from DK Metcalf it also is pretty good at attacking cover 2 now that was about the best uh, the, the best possible reaction for the defense a lot of the times what will happen what will happen is that this route right here gets left open so we'll just let it sit right here and if you want to help that throw out a bit streak Kittle and put McCaffrey on the flat route and now you will see that either the streak is going to be open or if your opponent moved uh, the deep zone a little bit to the outside before the play so we just like that um, <clears throat> wrong okay verticals uh, now you will see that we can hit the streak route even more so that's just something to keep in mind. Let him set, very important. And because of this outwards angle, um, 
right here you see how that is open also the streak on the left uh, the circle streak was open um but yeah that uh vertical route that's pretty much the only reason why this play is good this route of course one thing that you can't do i wouldn't recommend it on a day play to play basis but maybe something like that would work for you and then you can hit that guy in the seam that's just oh, that's the thought that works against cover three pretty much all the time but i don't want to run a play that just looks to get open one route which is that seam run i don't like it you can throw it in there maybe once a, once a game but other than that that's motioned over cover two beater is pretty much the only reason why i run that play pretty much the only reason now i'll try to get that angle angled out route or that angled route one open once it didn't work but because we have the streak there we still got it open or right, we still got a touchdown now that's all for verticals let's go back to the play call screen and see what we still have left there's still a lot more to go through um trail flex okay <sighs> let's look let's look let's look i don't actually know what i want to break down next because we broke down verticals let's go for levels by corner now levels by corner that's a pretty good play year in and year out it is it is a play that really uh, covers a lot of areas of the field and th for that reason it's pretty good so streak thomas put metcalf on a flat and just read the play out so right there you take that very easy the way to cover that and the way to cover that will be huh huh curl flat hard flat then we read the rest of the play so the left the right side is going to be covered now we will look to hit the in route in this case very very easy very very easy read in case that that gets covered as well so let's say uh, that we shade down which means that this zone Gil gilmore will now cover the in route um we can look to hit the streak route that is also an option covers a lot of different areas of the field it's not terribly difficult to stop but if you mix it in well, it will attack a lot of the um, weaknesses that will emerge if people try to adjust to your other setups. For example, if your opponent tries to, uh, I don't know, tries to defend the cover two beater I showed you with the corner route and the zig route, so uh, SC corner, if he tries to adjust for SC corner, this uh, will absolutely blow that up it's it's like not gonna work because you have you have the high low read or the you have the what is it called i don't know if it's, i don't think it's a high low read uh it's a sale read or the concept is sale i don't know whatever you read the sale concept on the right side if both of that is covered you look to the in route and you, if you see that the in route is getting covered you can throw that streak pass lead inside it is easy money against cover two against cover three it's kind of like a different deal against cover three it still works just that streak route is not as powerful but you will see that we get the in route open very nicely still and if our opponent decides to shade down uh, to cover the in route we will have I know that for a fact um, we will have the streak so right there we see how he drops down oh no we actually don't all right let's get that we don't have the streak not as great against cover uh, three but great against cover two also something that might be interesting is sometimes waiting a little bit and that corner out getting open against cover two it is a really really is a freaking tight window but if you can make that work maybe we can make it a little bit easier by the thing we did to the left on the last play hold the left stick to the right on this play shuffle over a little bit cut off the drop back a little bit all right now it's a little bit more open still it is really tight i'm sad that there's not a deep corner out um corner out from the tight end in this uh playbook because otherwise this formation will go up a whole nother level if i can consistently attack this spot right here and it's a bit and it's even more open this formation will just be uh the best formation besides gun bunch out of this playbook but it still really is really good once again that's the set of level sale and i think that's it i just want to show uh, remind you guys you have great runs out of this especially i mean you pretty much have one great run you have another decent run 
it still is good inside zone don't forget to throw that in there if you see that your opponent is getting kind of adjusty just annoy them annoy them and run the inside zone once or twice a game that's enough but just do it trust me it'll piss them off let's talk about empty slot under now there is one a very specific route in here or it actually is in sc corner never mind so i'll go back to sc corner i would just call it sc corner because we have the option of putting that option <laughs> we have the option of putting that option route on the running back on the field so i will keep that but if we for example if we want to get um the oh, do something like this um if we want to get kill open on that route we have to put metcalf on the streak lock it on the in route and then we'll just read it out. Just read the whole play out. And you'll see that he gets in this. He gets in this nice area. I was about to say, but he still does. I'll run it one more time, just to show you that that is something that is going to be open for you guys. It just got covered right there. So right there, you see, he gets in kind of like this nice in between area. One thing that you can do if you really only want to get that out, that out open, uh, is. Go with something like this. Maybe that's not that's not that great. Um, motion tile, lock it over. Put him on the streak. Something like that you can do if you specifically set out to get that route open. You see how that gets open even more right here. But I personally have to say I like the corner route a little bit more. I'm putting the slot of this corner route out uh, on the field right here, uh, just because. This route is better. The tight end route is better against cover three. And if I want to ha still have the corner post from the tight end, I'll run it against cover three and I'll put the sharper corner route out there uh, on the uh, on the slot apprentice wide receiver. All right. So we know we can get that open. And also because I put the uh, halfback on this flat route, you will now see that I am. You will see that I'm opening up uh, a window for the drag route to also be thrown. So that's just something to keep in mind. I'll just try to survive long enough. You see that now there's this window where I can fit that pass in. All right. And obviously, just to reiterate, the flat route is a great read on this play. Right there, you see the zone drop back. Immediate take the f immediately take the flat. That's 10 yards for just throwing a flat route. Very simple. That's it for this scheme. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It is really good. I just did it like this because it's really good. Excellent. Yes, it is really good. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for the rest of this ebook. It'll be a whole lot of fun for you to check that out. It is one of the best offenses in the game. Probably the best passing offense besides uh, trip side end uh, in the 2 1 2 personnel and all the down to running. All the down to running the ball. That's probably the best passing offense just because of that threat of running the ball. But besides that, this Carolina Panthers offense might just be it. Um, stay tuned for the bunch part of this ebook. Bunch uh, out of Panthers is the best bunch in the game. So you should watch out for that. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you learned something today. This was fun even for me. I love this offense. I hope you love it too. Have funny weekend league. I'll be streaming later today. The rest of my weekend league. Eight games I have left. Should be a whole lot of fun. Hope to see you then. Link to my Twitch is in the description. Bye bye. And have a great rest of your day.